Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. Uh, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This could be your situation or your partner's. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, too, please feel free to comment. I love reading what you guys have to write and interacting with you um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Also, too, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you always can do so by checking out my website, aaftarot.com. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. Ew, justice pops out. Okay. Sorry. All right. Let's, let's focus. Libra, is that you? Libra's like, hold on. Hold my beer. Here I am. What's popping? Okay, Libra, calm the hell down. You know, you're the next air sign, but we're, we're doing Aquarius right now. All right. Sorry. I got to focus. You guys already know like how ADD kicks in and then all of a sudden, you know, you're talking about grapes and then somehow you're talking about bicycles. Like they don't mean anything, right? They're two total opposites. That's like my life in general. I just have a hard time tasting on task. Okay, back at it. Uh, let, let's let's figure this out. Okay, how does Aquarius feel about their person of interest romantically, or who is Aquarius's person of interest romantically? What are they thinking about? Who are they? Okay, two of swords, possibly a uh, someone with a Libra moon. Um, how does Aquarius feel about this person romantically? Okay, King of Cups, or you're dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo. Um, what is the current situation or issue between these two romantically? Okay, Two of Pentacles or a uh, Jupiter in Capricorn. Somebody may have a Jupiter in Capricorn. What is the block or external influence? The Hangman, possibly a Pisces or you, Aquarius, may be that block since it is the Hangman. What is the um, best potential outcome here for these two romantically? Best potential outcome here for these two. The full, beautiful Aquarius or um, Pisces. Beautiful, beautiful. So uh, you possibly could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus or even a Sag, possibly. So I just want to go ahead and throw that out there. Um, you know, I definitely feel like, you know, this person feels like they're a leader, you know, but they do have the ability to stand alone if, if, if required to, you know, this person is very strong in their own vibration, especially when they look at, you know, the relationship as a whole, they're independent, they're creative, they're original, they're very ambitious. Um, I also feel like they're determined and self-assured. Sometimes they may come off as a bit arrogant or stubborn or impatient or self-centered, but I mean, let's be honest, we all have certain things about us that kind of suck. Um, but with that being said, I think that this person definitely takes the lead with love and they're willing to experience lots of excitement with you, which is awesome. Like it has to constantly be changing because for them, it's like they get bored very, very easy. So they have to have a level of mental stimulation between you and them. So I think that that's kind of um, <clears throat> kind of interesting. I do think that this that this person um, possibly because I do have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Now um, they may you know uh, work from home possibly work with kids um, also too because you have the the Libra Moon here. Um, trying to think my mind is like woo, all over the place. I also feel strongly too. They may be in, you know, uh, law and order, not the actual dun dun, but like, you know, they may be a cop. They may do something in, in, in that sense. Um, they also can be very much into health and fitness or something financially or into teaching. I do feel like for whatever reason, you and this person are kind of at like that Mexican standoff, like, what are you going to do? Because what am I going to do? It's like this person has very much in deep thought about that next step or about that next action on how to kind of bring everything back together here without having like all these major hiccups, right? And I think that that's very hard for this person. They don't like not having things together correctly. I do feel like for whatever reason, you may have met this person when you were in another relationship and, you know, this, this relationship is destined to be for a long period of time. 
Um, I do think that they are loving and affectionate. H harmony is very important to them. Um, at times, I do think that as much as they need that mental stimulation, there is times where they feel very clingy and passive and very superficial. So it's kind of hard because they can be moody at times. Um, okay, what? So here your partner is two of swords, and it's, it's kind of a block, right? What is this partner in uh, deep thought about? What are they? Okay, seven of pentacles about being stuck. Where are things going, right? Seven of pentacles. Um, that's definitely uh, Taurus energy. And I feel like with the seven of pentacles, it's like, okay, are we going to sit here and wait this out, right? Or are we going to move on from this, right? And I think the thing here is, it's like this person as they're coming in, especially with this Saturn and Taurus energy. Well, that's Clarence. Um, welcome. That is, uh, that is him. So just in case you're curious, he's a beagle. I think he's a beagle. I could be lying. I'm not sure. Um, not on purpose at least. So I feel like this person is really in deep thought, like, Hey, does this have the potential to grow? Or am I just waiting this out to wait it out? It's like they're trying to be disciplined and stay the course because they put a level of work into your relationship. Um, and I feel like for this person, uh, possibly Virgo too, Venus and Virgo, you know, how they're looking at this is from a very, is from a standpoint where it's very black or white. It's very much like, no, this is how we're supposed to love. I'm supposed to wait it out with you because that's the right thing to do, right? It's also about this person feeling like they've taken the necessary steps or maybe not, right? Because you go from the seven of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. So for them, it's like, was the hard work done? You know what I mean? In order to get to the nine or was that skipped over? Did you and this person do it together or did you do it alone? Um, and I do feel like for whatever reason, there is a lot of communication coming in right now, especially with that eight of wands and that eight of wands is, you know, definitely that Sag energy. Um, you know, there's definitely a climax or a straining towards a goal or, you know, wanting to move in a certain way. There's some type of communication with where this person wants to go, you know, with your relationship. What's being communicated here with the Eight of Wands? Being communicated here with the Eight of Wands. The person of Aquarius is person of interest, possibly Leo, Five of Cups. You know, this person, and that's, um, <laughs> That is a uh, definite Scorpio energy. And what's being communicated possibly is the fact that, you know, there's something that's being avoided here. There's some type of fear of, you know, what is to come for their actions. It's also the fact that this person needs a level of reassurance like, hey, you know, I'm sorry. I also feel like this person is sorry for something that's happened or they feel that there is a level of guilt here. This is Mars and Scorpio. You know, that's definitely a need to struggle or evolve or fight, you know, intensely, right? For something that you love, but not out in the open, right? They're not showing you how connected or how upset they truly are to the situation or to the outcome. What are they um, guilty? Why do they feel guilty or upset? That just shot out because of the nine of wands. I mean, again, they may be guilty for the fact that, that things have, nothing has changed. Maybe they promised you that they were going to do the work and, and do a level of change, but they haven't, right? Maybe they're stuck in their own ways for a portion of it. Um, or there's something that needs to have a level of light that's shown on it. Six of Wands, right? And this also can be about their ego. That's Jupiter and Leo. That's saying, okay, if I want forward movement, then I really do have to put myself out there and put myself first. And maybe that is something that's coming about, or it's also being seen, making the effort. If you're at a distance from one another, you know, physically going to see you, you know, that's definitely a possibility. Uh, being able to be seen by you, right? I, I feel like you're very attracted to this person. Um, I feel like this person, you know, has a lot of charisma. I think that they're liked by many people, but I think that when it comes to you, 
it's like they're always trying to get your attention and they're always worried that you're not going to approve of them or who they are. And I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I do. Page of Pentacles uh, with the Ten of Swords. It's like there's a level of hurt here. And it can be the fact that, you know, there there's a level of pain. See, like she's crying, right? Ten of Swords, that's Gemini. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. So, I mean, it definitely can be over, over a level of hurt. And maybe there was more than one option here. And you had more than one option. And something definitely happened. But, you know, this person feels very guilty about it. Or they're very sad. They're sad about being rejected from you. Or rejecting you. Either way. How you feel about them is the, night, is the King of Cups. And that's definitely Scorpio or Leo energy. Um, how I feel is this, and, and maybe this person is pregnant, or maybe, you know, something's happened here where they got somebody pregnant and now it's causing a lot of heartache. There's definitely something here with that weird kind of like triangle, right? Um, something new starting while something is ending. Okay, anyways, back to the King of Cups. You know, I think that you view this person as somebody very loving, stable, uh, caring, right? Persistent, um, very determined, you know, um, very dignified. I think that at times this person comes across as stubborn or egotistical, which I think it is what it is, right? But usually this person is very emotionally giving. This person offers you everything you need emotionally, right? Like they're very mature. They have the ability to manifest very, very quickly. And this tends to be the person who is the giver. Like, you know that your partner is the one that gives while you are the one that receives. Um, can you give me more information on how Aquarius feels about their personal ventures romantically? Eight of Pentacles. I think that you know that this person works very, very hard. Um, especially with that Eight of Pentacles, that's definitely Virgo. You know, they work in a way to figure things out. They're very much in their head, but it's different than a Gemini because the Eight of Pentacles is physically taking action on something versus that Gemini energy where we're just sitting there like, oh, fuck, what are we going to do? You know what I mean? Like Eight of Pentacles is like, let me try to figure this out. I also feel like, too, there's a level of certainty with this person that you want to make it work. Whatever has happened prior, it's like, you know, you want to put in that effort. And remember, the Eight of Pentacles was missing from your partner. And it can be because the work needs to come on your end or, you know, that type of thing, right? Maybe that person did the work and that's why. I also feel like, too, Four of Wands, you may live with this person, right? And that's Venus and Aries. Um, you know, there is a strong foundation that is set for you and this person and one that is very passionate and caring and, um, very much a level of desire. I do feel that strongly. More information here about how Aquarius feels about their person of interest. All gifted, you know, giving oneself to the other. I mean, I think for you, Aquarius, you really do love and care about this person. So it may be that this person feels guilty for something that they've done. I'm going to be honest. Okay. What is Aquarius like about their person of interest? The lovers. Okay. Gemini. You know, there's definitely something that's pulling you to this person. There's something that's saying, hey, Aquarius, you are very much attached to this person for a very specific reason. And your attachment may have came after something weird that happened, right? And now you're like, how the hell did I even get attached to this person? I didn't even think I liked their ass like that, you know? But now it is something. It's, it's definitely a sexual attraction. It's also the fact that you and this person can be weird together. You know, I think that you're very much fascinated by their mind and how it works. Um, what is Aquarius not like about their personal interest? Aquarius not like about their person of interest. The hangman. Um, you know, maybe there's some type of sacrifice that needs to be made between the two of you. 
right? Maybe you feel like they, they haven't sacrificed enough in order to be with you, or there's something that's holding them back or bonding them um, to something else, which definitely can be why they have this level of guilt here. Why? What's, um, what are they, what do they need to sacrifice? The two of wands. Maybe this person has more than one option and, or they're at a distance and it's like, okay, you need to choose. What is it going to be me or them? You know, you have to make a sacrifice here. You're going to have to make a decision. Um, and I feel like for you, uh, that's also, uh, Mars and Aries. It's like making a decision and sticking to it, right? And going with your gut instinct and just doing it. I also think too, with the high priestess being here, you know, um, there is a waiting period for this person. Like you're waiting on this person to make a decision. And I feel like for you, it's very much a destiny thing. Like you don't understand it and you don't necessarily care. All you know is that we have the emperor and the empress top and the bottom of the deck. It's like, you feel like this person is perfect for you and that you and this person can balance each other out very, very well. And I think that's hard. And it also can be too the fact that Aquarius, you have children with this person. Right. So it's just like maybe you want this person to sacrifice something more for the family. Maybe there's something that needs to be said here about, you know, how things are taking a long time to get off the ground. Like, why isn't money necessarily coming in? It's also about having um, a harsh conversation or a harsh truth about where exactly is this going? You know, talking about why someone feels guilty, you know, who the other person is that's caused this, possibly a cancer. Okay, like something's definitely here with what the hell is going on. And I feel like for you, Aquarius, you're always questioning and thinking. The situation is the two of pentacles with the hermit. I just feel like, you know, with the two of pentacles, this is a decision that's not being made by emotion. This is a decision that's being made because this is Jupiter and Capricorn. We have a lot of like Jupiter here, expansion, growth, luck, right? But I also feel like too, it's like this person or somebody is trying to figure out how do they expand with this person. And by doing so, they're going back and forth. And it may be the fact that there's more than one person here. Maybe the other person is a hermit or um, a uh, Virgo. Why are you showing me the two of pentacles for um, the current situation? Two of wands. You see, there's something here with this level of duality. Like there's two choices. Why are you showing me two choices for the situation? With justice. There's a right and there's a wrong choice. There's your heart and, and your mind. There's something here that has to do with balancing a situation out and doing what's best in a harmonious way. This also has to do with your seventh house, right? Your seventh house of partnership and your seventh house of partnership is always, you know, something very loving, affectionate and harmonious. I do think for whatever reason, there either is coming a tower moment or there will be one because somebody is withholding information and not completely sharing with somebody with what's going on. And that may be a Capricorn or an Aries. Um, how does Aquarius, let me ask, how do you feel about this? How does Aquarius feel about the situation? The seven of wands, you need clarity on it. You're like, I'm tired of, you know, just hearing whispers about it. Like you need a level of clarity because you need to know whether or not this is something that you want to fight for. And that's Mars and Leo. Do you stand up? Do you fight for this? Or do you just say, fuck it and let it be where, where it is. Right. Um, what is Aquarius need clarity on? The Three of Cups. You see what I'm saying? There is a third party situation here. Um, and that's uh, Mercury and Cancer. And I feel like you just need confirmation. For some reason, you need to physically hear that there is this other party. Either they're cutting it out and making it right with you and making you the solid offer. And they're laying this other person to rest. Or if they're going to go on with this other person. However, for you, Aquarius, I think you have very strong feelings about them. That's why I think it's more so on the other person's side with what they want to do or what they need to do. But it's very superficial. Like there's some type of very superficial relationship. So either 
this person has a family with somebody else. Maybe they're married to somebody else or they're separated, but they're living. Or, you know, that's the situation with you. Either way, there's something that's very surface level that's done based on the family, based on, you know, how something is looking versus, um, you know, raw and true emotions. So there's kind of the opposite or dueling sides of it. How does Aquarius's person of interest feel about the current situation between Aquarius and them? Okay, Queen of Cups. See, I told you, I think that there's a Cancer in there. Maybe somebody has a Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, Cancer Venus, or legit, there is a Cancer that's over here that's like coddling this person. Or maybe they feel like they need to coddle you. They need to make you feel secure and they need to nurture the situation when it, when it comes to you. It's also, too, feeling like a parent or being a parent in a situation. Um, how does Aquarius feel about this Queen of Cups? One more time. How does Aquarius feel about this Queen of Cups? How does Aquarius feel about this Queen of Cups? Seven of Cups, you may not know much about it. Or there's like a level of confusion here. Like you're not completely sure. There's some type of illusion around it. That's Scorpio Venus or Venus and Scorpio. The thing about that is I feel like you have um, a gut instinct that something is going on here. You just don't know exactly what it is, but you're not stupid. It's like, you know that there's something there that makes you go, hmm, what the fuck, right? Four of Swords, you know, this can also be the reason why there's not forward movement, you know, why there is a period of rest or a period of reflection um, with this person, that's definitely Jupiter in um, Libra, right? It, it's having a time to process, okay, where is this going? It's retracing your steps. It's thinking, remember that time that they said they were doing A, B, C, D, and E? Well, what the fuck? Obviously, they weren't doing it. Or this is also, too, the fact that this person is telling you, they're physically saying to you, hey, I want to make things right with you, but that's not that's giving you a level of excitement, right? But that's not the same thing. It, it's not making up for the, that physical action. It's just words. And I think that that's what's hard about the situation is there's a lot that you don't know with the moon card. And here's that eight of swords. It's something that's very much in your head, always in the background about what if, you know, what are they doing? Are they hiding this other person? Are they not talking about it? Are they doing something shady? Um, you know, what the fuck is really going on over here? Like, I think that that is a constant conversation or a constant thing that is in the back of your mind. Now for hangman, um, this is the block. Obviously something has to be sacrificed here because how I view the hangman is, you know, um, similar to like a lot of religions, right? Like, and, and I don't speak on other things, but, I have a little bit of knowledge from what I was reading a long time ago. For instance, like with um, the Native Americans, they felt like they had to make some type of sacrifice to the gods. And in order for when that sacrifice was given, there was something received in return, right? Almost a sacrifice to the rain gods. Or think about voodoo. Like, you know, um, they come after there's something that's sacrificed. There is a level of pain here that that's drawn in, right? So think about like that. What's um, what's being sacrificed here with the hangman? The lovers, possibly uh, Gemini, or this can actually be your partner, your situation. Why? Why is it being sacrificed? Because of the six of pentacles. Because somebody was giving to more than one person and something has to give. Somebody has to be let go. That's Moon and Taurus. That is a balance. This person has to make some type of sacrifice and that even can be a financial sacrifice. Maybe this person is paying out, right? There's something here. There's some type of fairness. There's a distribution of goods or balance. You know, something has to be given here, a level of generosity in order to have that forward movement. But it's also about the need to bring a lasting and possessive change, right? It's changing, but then having that change be consistent. What's being given? The four, the four of swords. Okay, deep thought about what am I investing in? Is this going to come back? You know, I feel like this person had to sacrifice a relationship to really figure out 
what they want, you or this person. Um, and it can be too that it's really trying to figure out the right balance between, you know, heart and head, right? It's something I feel like that's going on internally. Like on the outside looking in, I think you look like a great relationship. You look like a great couple. However, in the inside, there's a lot of what ifs and there's a lot of like, huh, what's really going on here? You know what I mean? Um, how does Aquarius feel about this? Walk or five of uh, pentacles? I think that for you, it's, it's like when you and this person are together, it's just you and them. It's like, you feel completely complete and there's nothing else going on around you. However, you do feel alone. It's like being with this person is everything, but then you realize you have nothing. The devil, you know, there's a level of betrayal here, I think. And I feel like you're very much attached to this person. This can be some type of like karmatic relationship. It's also something where, you know, you want this person to come towards you and offer you something much, much more than what they're doing. Like you don't want to have to be the person that's constantly seeking, you know, them. You want them to be the one to make the effort. Um, energy of the devil, please. The six of cups. You see, you're very much focused on what this was, on the memory of what's happened. That's Scorpio. You know, you're very focused. You're very heavily, um, very intense and almost obsessed, like obsessive with how things are going. It's like right now you feel like your life is in a transitional period and something is transforming because of this person. Whether it's good or bad, it's like, this person is forcing a level of change and it's making you into somebody who's very like cool. Like you're showing a very cool exterior. Okay. Queen of Pentacles that can definitely be Capricorn or it can be cancer. You know, you're, you're very nurturing. You have a level of security that you're providing, but it's also the face of it. Right. And cancer can be cancer moon, cancer rising, cancer Venus. However, I feel like, you are trying to really nurture this situation. How does your partner feel about uh, the block or the external influence? The eight of pentacles. See, it's something that they feel like they have to work out because there's a level of indifference here. Something's not working for them. Look in this card. He's offering her a rose and she's not like, no, not good enough. Try again. It's almost like them really having to go back to the drawing board and figure out what needs to change in order to make you happy. Um, what are they working on? Okay, and it's the Page of Cups. So obviously there's a level of jealousy here. He's upset. There's a level of distance that's between them. And this is causing a level of jealousy. And that can be over the fact that there was some type of love offer, Ace of Cups, with the Seven of Swords. You see, there's a level of uncertainty here with where this is going. There's a hidden plan. There's something that's not being expressed. Seven of Pentacles. Am I just saying the course? What am I doing? There's a level of boredom, of being tired of waiting, right? And here you go, Mercury and um, Aquarius. Having that open conversation with, hey, are we just doing this because this is what we're supposed to do, right? Are we just doing this because this is what we know? Or are we doing this because we really love each other? I mean, is there something very deep here or do we need to let it go and have somebody new come in? I feel like you're having these type of conversations with yourself or in your head and really trying to map out whether or not this is somebody that you want to spend your life with. Now, you do have uh, the Fool as your outcome card. So, you know, this can definitely be a new start. This can be a leap of faith. This can be, you know, definitely a multitude of things, right? Those of you that this has brought enough clarity, I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Peace.